Hi guys, welcome back. All right, in this video, I'm going to go over a few things. I've seen a few things on Reddit. People are doing things to the computers and they're not able to boot them, whether you're rebuilding them, adding new parts, changing parts, or whether you've just just simply just built one from scratch. doesn't matter what it is. There are the same issue over and over again, so I just thought I'd address it. And we'll address a couple of other things as well, just for different issues. First one is when you rebuild a PC, the first thing and the most common thing I'm seeing recently is power. You are starting your PC, it's flicking on, and then a couple of seconds later, flicking off. One of the main problems is get this one in, which is pretty obvious, your 24 pin, main motherboard power supply, and then get this one in. If you miss any of this, if you miss either of these two out, I mean, you, you maybe could get away with just an 8 pin if you haven't got the other 4 pin. It just means your CPU won't be able to draw as much power. Um, and I don't think that'd do any detrimental damage. I've done it before on one of my other boards. It's really fine. Just make sure that if you start smelling burning or anything like that, turn it off. Monitor, you know, just monitor your temperatures. Just do your due diligence and just, it should be fine. There's no reason. Just, just keep your eye on it, I suppose. Just, just to protect yourself. Um, but like I say, I've used one and it was absolutely fine with just an eight pin in there. But they are together, they're meant to be, that's why it says one and one. They, um, there you go, ATX, that's your 12 volt power supply to your CPU. So you've got your 24 pin and then you've got an 8 pin, sometimes just a 4 pin. But yeah, make sure they're in. Uh, second issue that I see quite regularly is CPU fan. Make sure you get the correct one. I think this one's number 3. CPU fan is number 3, so make sure you, like on my motherboard for example, it would be this one. If you have two fans, um, you could potentially have them running off of either. You know, if you don't have a splitter, you can have them running off either. But just make sure when you go into your BIOS or use some software, so then the both fan curves are exactly the same. And that way the fans will mimic exactly together rather than them being out of sync and one's working harder than the other and sort of ruining your performance, so to speak. Um, another issue... Your RAM. Make sure you know which ones are slots A and slots B, and which ones are one and two. Um, usually you fill one, miss one, fill one, miss one. But some other boards they have the first one and the third one. So this one and this one, they have as A one and A two. But then I've seen another board last night. Um, it was the second one and the fourth one. So it can be very confusing. But if you're not sure. You can always just swap them around. It's it's a two second job. Um, they'll only go in one way, obviously with this notch, so there's nothing to worry about there. Um, another thing, SATA plugs. Make sure they're not pulled tight, twisted. Um, make sure that they're they're, they're in straight. Uh, I've seen a few issues where it's just been you know sort of twisted slightly. Um, that might cause a couple of issues. Make sure it's both ends. You can hold it with your hand while someone switches your computer on and just test it that way. Uh, that usually is quite common. Uh, and the last one, I think, is this number eight, the front panel. The front panel, make sure you've got the case button, i.e. the switch on your case. Make sure you've got that wired up correctly. If you've got it on the correct pins according to your motherboard, just have a look and just switch them around. Uh, and that, that could also be a little bit of an issue. That should be around it. Oh, one more thing. Always make sure that you've, you've, you've checked your power supply. Make sure your connections are correct. Make sure that the switch is switched on. You haven't accidentally switched it off. Make sure your plug is in fully at both ends, i.e. in the back of your power supply and in the wall. And then you could also, if it's if it's not reacting to any of this, and it's simply just not reacting whatsoever, no fans, no lights, nothing, check the fuse. Check the fuse in the wall, and at the very last, check the, the breaker in the house. It depends how your house is wired. Sometimes it's, it's linked where a couple of different things are all on one breaker. So your lights might go out at the same time as one of your plugs. Um, it shouldn't be in a modern day house, but some of them in old houses, they are like that. Uh, so it's just check all them things if you still have problems guys just get in touch with me down below i will try and help you out and try and solve your problems or hit it up in the reddit forums where you'll get a few more people in there as well i'm sure there'll be a lot of tech brains in there 
um, but it's definitely worth going through each one of these one by one you can obviously pause the video to do that um, and this should it should solve your problem if you're not doing any heavy loads like I say you can just uh, these number ones here you can just put one in for now just if you're just testing you can just put you know a four pin in in there for example your four pin will go in this, these four here you can just test it but I wouldn't do any any heavy sort of strain on it while you've only got that four pin in make sure you try and saturate them at least half of them anyway or at least the eight pin um but hopefully that solves your problem if it does hit the like button um and let me know that down in the comments what you think um again if you if you have any problems i will try to help you the best i can uh, please hit that subscribe button any support is appreciated i hope my videos are of some help and i hope you all stay safe i'll see you in the next one